Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. So last time I did a video about how Japan views different countries in Europe based on a survey that Japanese people took and we looked at a map and you guys seem to really enjoy that video. So I thought that this time we should check out the same thing but in America. So today we're going to be checking out how Japan views different states in America. Uh, before we get started, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Make sure to watch to the end because there are a lot of interesting things that we're going to find out in this video about how Japanese people view my country, America. All right, without further ado, let's get started. I think we're going to start with Washington, which is just wine. That's interesting because I've never actually been to Washington, but I guess um, people like wine there. Again, Oregon is also wine. Okay, so Washington and Oregon are wine states, I guess, according to Japan. Um, California, it's uh, Disneyland. Well, that makes sense. I guess Florida would be Disney World and um, California would be Disneyland. That makes a lot of sense. Nevada is okay. I can't really say that on YouTube, so I'm just going to blur that out. I don't know why it's that. Yeah, you can try to find this map later and uh, look it up yourself, but basically it's working to do interesting videos on the internet for money. Why does Japan Why does Japan think Nevada does that? Or am I just missing something? As in, I don't know anything about America. <laughs> Although I'm American, which is kind of weird, I guess. Oh well. Idaho is known for potatoes. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean... I mean, yeah, I think every American knows that Idaho is, is the state that is known for potatoes. I've never been to Idaho myself, but I heard it's a pretty beautiful state, so I'd like to go sometime for sure. Uh, Utah is just uh, Mormons. Yeah, that makes sense. That's where all the Mormons are. And I guess Japan thinks that as well. Up next, we have Arizona, which is a meteor crater. Why is Arizona known for a media creator, according to Japan? Gotta look that one up, because I'm not really sure. Arizona media creator. Oh, okay. So there's like a, a really big crater here. I didn't know that. Meteor crater natural landmark. Hmm. I guess um, Japanese people know more about my own country than I do myself. That is crazy, though. Look at that. That's a huge crater. All right, my fellow Arizonians, um, tell me if you know about this crater. <laughs> uh, Montana is known for dinosaur bones. Okay, I guess a lot of the dinosaur bones that we have in our museums were found in Montana. Not sure about that. You can fact check me on that later, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Wyoming is known for Devil's Tower. What is, what is Devil's Tower? I guess, man, I don't know anything about America. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, yeah, I know this. I know this thing. This thing looks like, okay, I've, I've never been here before, but it looks super sweet. It looks awesome. And you know what it does look like though? I've heard like some like mythical folklore stories about this, but like this was once like an ancient tree and this is the stump. So imagine if that was like an actual tree, dude. Look at this. Imagine if that was like an actual tree stump and the tree just reached above the clouds, like into the universe. That'd be sick. Next up is Colorado, which is known for South Park, according to Japanese people. I guess South Park. I've never actually seen South Park. I know. Don't get mad at me. I've I've seen some of South Park, but I, I was it's on my it's on my watch list for sure. I'm actually watching The Simpsons right now. Don't get mad at me about that either. I know I'm super late on watching these shows. I'm getting there though. But apparently, uh, Colorado is known for South Park. I guess that's where it takes place. And New Mexico is known for UFOs. Is that where like all the UFO sightings were seen like back in the 50s and 60s in New Mexico? Let me see. Oh my god, dude. There's FBI records, the vault. What is this? Huh. Oh, the Rosewell report. Aliens observed in the New Mexico desert were actually anthropomor anth anthropomorphic test dummies that were carried aloft by US Air Force. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't think it was real. Texas. Texas is just guns. Guns, Texas. I like my guns down in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Texans, don't get mad at me, please. Uh, North Dakota is known for Fargo. Okay, yeah, that's that movie. I've seen the movie. I haven't seen the show. This is a good movie. You should check it out. South Dakota is known for a name of a battleship. Okay. 
What what battleship? South Dakota Dakota battleship. Oh, there's a South Dakota class battleship, 1939. Oh, okay. Hmm. Dude, how did Japanese people know about this stuff and I don't? Am I just like dumb? I have a big brain, I swear. Please don't judge me. Nebraska, known for Bruce Springsteen album. Sweet. Uh, sorry, I don't know Bruce. I don't know any Bruce Springsteen songs. Bruce Springsteen fans, I'm sorry, don't get mad at me. Kansas is the name of a band. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, J Japan. Um, yeah, I guess the, they know the band Kansas, which is a good band. I like them. Good songs. Uh, Oklahoma is known for tornadoes, according to Japanese people. Uh, a lot of tornadoes in Oklahoma. Oklahoma County, home to Oklahoma City and Edmond, see the most tornadoes each year, totaling 125 twisters from 1950 to 19 or 1950 to 2021. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense now. Sorry, people from Oklahoma. Sorry you have to deal with that. Uh, okay, so now we're moving up to Minnesota. We're getting closer to the east now. So Minnesota is known for Minnesota Twins. What is Minnesota Twins? What Am I, am I missing something? Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm not a sports fan. I figured that's out now. It's a baseball team, I guess. But uh, Minnesota Twins is a baseball team, and Japan loves its baseball. Iowa is known for Iowa, Iowa Caucasus. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Missouri known for black people? <laughs> um, Japan? Why? Why do you think Missouri is known for black people, huh? Please explain. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into that any further. <laughs> uh, Arkansas is known for caves. Okay, I, I guess there's a lot of the natural caves in Ar Arkansas. Oh, okay, dang, look at that. Whoa, dude. Wow, these caves are crazy. I actually saw, if you saw my Okinawa video, check it out, links in the description below. I went to a cave there, it was pretty sweet. And it looks a lot like this too. Yeah, these caves are awesome. Okay, I guess Arkansas is known for caves. Um, alligators, uh, Louisiana. You got a lot of alligators there, okay. I thought that was gonna be Florida, but um, Florida is something else, we'll get to that soon. I'm learning a lot about my own country. This is great, thank you, Japan. Wisconsin, known for its cheese. Heck yeah, dude, I love cheese. I've never been to Wisconsin, but I've had cheese from Wisconsin. It's amazing. Okay, up next is Illinois. Illinois is also known for its to tornadoes, like uh, Oklahoma as well, okay. Okay, Michigan is the name of a video game. Why? Why is Michigan the name of a video game? Oh, okay, it's a PlayStation 2 game. That's, that's pretty old. Uh, Michigan, a report from hell is a video game developed by a grasshopper manufacturer. It was published in Japan. Okay, that makes sense now. It was published in Japan by Spike in 2004 and in Europe by 505 Game Street the following year. Okay, very cool. I guess that's why uh, Japanese people... Oh, the director of the game is a Japanese person, Ueda Akira. So that makes a lot of sense now. I guess, yeah, that's why Japanese people see um, Michigan and think of name of video game. When I say Michigan, I think of Lake Michigan, but that's me as an American, so. Um, Indiana is known for basketball. Okay, very nice. And of course, Kentucky is known for fried chicken. Yes, Kentucky fried chicken, of course. I mean, what else can Kentucky be? It's obviously gonna be fried chicken. Yeah, Japan loves KFC. I mean, for Christmas, instead of Santa Claus, they like uh, Colonel Sanders better. I mean, I see him everywhere. And then Christmas, they have like this crazy expensive KFC bundle deal, which I never get. And it's usually sold out anyway, so you can't get it. But yeah, that's what they do for Christmas here. KFC, very popular. Also, fun fact, they don't call it KFC here. They call it Kentucky. They just call it Kentucky. So it's like, my friends are like, hey, you want to go to Kentucky? I'm like, no, I'm in Japan. Why would I want to go to Kentucky? And they're like, oh, for fried chicken. I'm like, oh, you mean KFC? They're like, what's KFC? Yeah, it's, yeah, there's a lot of nuances here. And up next is Tennessee, which is known for its whiskey. Seems appropriate. Good whiskey there. And oh man. Yeah, Miss both Mississippi and Alabama are known, well, Okay, so let me rephrase that. Mississippi and Alabama, according to a survey taken by Japanese people, and the answers were turned into an AI-generated map with one word for each state. For Mississippi and Alabama, they're known for racial discrimination. So that was just based on a survey though, so you know, well, that's unfortunate. Up next, down below, oh my God, 
Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, all three of these states are known for, according to Japanese people, racial discrimination. Yeah, I'm just gonna move past that. And of course, Florida uh, is known for Disney World. Yep, I've been to Disney World lots of times when I was a kid. Or not lots of times, I went like once. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm so awkward on camera, as you can tell. I'm literally talking to a lens. I'm not talking to a person, so come on, give me a break. I'm trying to make this entertaining for you guys. Moving to away from the mainland America, we're going to Alaska, which is known for its Aurora Borealis, which, uh, yeah, I can see that because the, oh yeah, these are so beautiful. I really want to go to Alaska and see these northern lights or Aurora Borealis. That looks so cool. I really want to see that. Yeah. And um, Hawaii. Oh, this makes total sense. Yeah, so many Japanese people in Hawaii. I actually have family in Hawaii. When I visit them, there's literally like so many Japanese people and so many Japanese restaurants, which I'm not complaining about. I love it. But yes, it's like predominantly Japanese there. Pretty much like 90, 80, 90%. And up next, finally, we have Ohio, my state. Ohio is known for Honda factory. Come on, really? Japanese people, come on. Ohio has the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Henry Ford Automobiles. It has the Wright Brothers. Come on, invented the airplane. Come on, there's so many other things, but you picked the Honda factory. Come on, man. Uh, okay, anyway, getting triggered here. Up next, we have West Virginia, which according to Japanese people is known for Silent Hill. Are they talking about the games? What else could they be talking about? Oh, okay. I've never played Silent Hill, um, but According to Google, it's been pretty much confirmed that the game's universe, Silent Hill, is somewhere in New England. The film is the only version that has it taking place in West Virginia. And uh, it's also the only film that bases its city on central, Pennsylva uh, central Pennsylvania. So that makes sense now. So I guess the peop uh, Japanese people that saw the film, Silent Hill, know the state, uh, West Virginia. For, they know it for being uh, the place of Silent Hill where it took place. Uh, Virginia is known for Bang Bang. I can't really say I can't really say anything else about that. Uh, yeah, I gotta blur that out or I'm gonna get canceled for sure. North Carolina is known for Michael Jordan. Okay, makes sense. And uh, South Carolina is known for Lizard Man. What the heck is Lizard Man? Lizard Man, Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp, United States region south carolina oh my god in the folklore of lee county south carolina the lizard man of scape or swamp also known as the lizard man of lee county is an entity said to inhabit the swampland of the region first mentioned in the late eight, 1980s the purport the purported sightings and damage attributed to the creature yielded a significant amount of newspaper radio and television publicity what the heck how come i've never heard of this why do japanese people know about this Lizard man of swamp. What the? Is there any images of this thing? What is that? Oh my god, what is that? That looks like some guy in a suit. Come on. <laughs> I guess when you're in South Carolina, be sure to look out for this guy. And last but not least, we're getting up to the northern or northeast part of the United States. And we're just going to take it from the top down below. So we're going to start with Maine, which is known for lobster. Oh man, that's that sounds good. I actually really want to eat lobster right now. I haven't eaten that in a long time. And I, I've actually never been to Maine, so I have to try their lobster sometime. Uh, New Hampshire is known for its, the presidential primary. Okay, that makes sense. Vermont is a brand of curry. Why is Vermont a brand of curry? Vermont curry is the number one selling brand of Japanese curry roe. Oh! Oh, dude, the Vermont curry sa Oh, okay, I've seen this in the store all the time. Ba monto kare. Oh, oh, it's true. Ba, mon ba monto kare. Vermont curry. Oh my god, I didn't even look at the label. I just look at the picture. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, yeah. Uh, Massachusetts is hard to pronounce for Japanese people. Uh, that makes sense because in katakana, that would be Massachusetts, probably, which is pretty difficult. Yeah, so I could see how that would be really hard for Japanese people to pronounce Massachusetts. Try saying that five times in a row. Uh, New York is known for New York City. What a surprise. Although a lot of people mistake that for the capital, which is not the capital. The capital of New York is Albany, not New York City. Rhode Island is known for clam chowder. Okay. Connecticut is known for... Okay, cannot show that either. We're just gonna skip that one. 
Uh, New Jersey is known for bears. Okay, a lot of I guess a lot of bears in New Jersey, or maybe that's a sports team. Please let me know. Pennsylvania is known for Penn State. Okay, how did Japanese know this, man? Delaware, they see they see Delaware is low corporate tax rates. What are Japanese people looking up on America? You know, you'd think they'd be looking up like tourist stuff, but they're like, no. I'm gonna look up. Uh... What state has the lowest tax rate? Lowest corporate tax rate. Ah, Delaware, yes. Maryland is known for a death fest. What the heck is a death fest? Oh, Maryland Death Fest is an annual American extreme metal music festival founded in 2003. Sick, rock on dude, rock on man. Maryland Death Fest, man, that sounds fun. I'm not a huge death metal fan, but that sounds fun to join. And finally, last but not least, our capital, Washington, D.C., is known for, believe it or not, cherry blossoms. Which, actually, I was just talking to my friends uh, the other day, and they told me that they have a lot of imported cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C. that bloom in the spring. So, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was how Japan views different states in America. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.